Huh, interesting new icons. I'm liking it so far. Blueprints are looking pretty fancy if I do say so myself. Alrighty, so I think it's, uh, I think we got the go-ahead, guys. What's up today? We are back in Subnautica. We have a lot of stuff to go over in this video. <laughs> we have sea dragon eggs, we have a bunch of cyclops updates, we have a whole UI overhaul, and we have Debbie trying to talk over me again. Alright, thanks for that, Debbie. Didn't really need to hear that, but, you know, I've only heard it like, what, 20 different times? What the shit is that? That's a, a lava vent. So, as you guys can see, everything was basic. well, almost everything, I think, was updated. We have a bunch of new icons. Everything is looking a lot better, higher quality, and much more detailed now in these pictures. Except for these little things right here. These are a little bit weird. They're, they're dark. I feel like they need to be updated, but everything's looking really nice in the icons right now. It makes the game feel even more solid than it currently does. And we also have our taskbar down below, our hotkey menu. And that's looking really nice as well. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this so far. Debbie, you need to stop trying to interrupt me. I'm trying to do some com- I need to do entertaining things, and you make it really hard to do that when you try and talk over me and steal the spotlight. So if you would please just shut the p up, I will continue. <laughs> oh, God. So, we have a bunch of stuff to go over. Um... Oh, and I forgot to mention the uh, time capsules, too, which is kind of technically a multiplayer feature. Um, but I'll get into that in a little bit. So what I want to do first is sub... Uh, no, I want to sub Cyclops. That's how you summon a Cyclops, people. Let's just summon that in real quick. We will swim down. And we will board the SS Holy Shit. Okay, let's go in. What an original name, the SS Holy Shit. All right. All systems online? It's pretty cool. Wait, hang on a second. What are you? Hello. Decoy launcher. Zero out of one. Okay, alright, so that's a new thing I haven't seen. Let's see, what else is there? We have the hologram working. Looks like it has a little bit of like a, a shimmer effect now. I just saw that. Yeah, that right there. Okay, that's a little bit new. I know there's a fire suppression system right off the bat. Let's just take a look. Okay, we have none of those. Alright, so let's see. We have vehicles. We have Cyclops, Seamoth, and Prawn Suit. Rockets. Rocket launch platform provides a circus. What? What is this? Did I just crash my game? I just crashed my game, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. What are you making? Rocket launch platform? Are you gonna do it? Hold the phone! Are you... Are you making a rocket launch platform, or what are you doing? No? Did I just break my vehicle bay? Definitely just broke it. Shit. Okay, so that's apparently a thing I just found. I didn't even know that was a thing, but the rocket launch platform can be crafted somehow. Wouldn't let me make it. Maybe it's just not in the game yet, and the icon is just there. So what I need to do now is I need to create some Cyclops upgrade hoobity waddy shenanigan things, and I'm not sure how to do that yet, so let me just take a looks around. A little looksy around real quick. Let's just see. Okay, all right, so we have a Cyclops upgrade fabricator. So we can make decoy tube. Okay, we can make a tube. We'll just go ahead and do you up real quick like so. Fire suppression system. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. You need a bunch of stuff for that. Now we also can use some. We don't need these or that. But the shield generator was nice to have. So we'll make that. And we will also make the sonar upgrade. Now this right here, I didn't put this in the, Cy uh, in the Cyclops at all. Like this wasn't something that I put into the Cyclops. It comes with it when it's created from what I could see. At least in this build of the game. So let's go ahead. We will insert all of these. Now you can see it has some lovely little icons now. All of this stuff is great. So now let's see. We have a decoy launcher. Hmm. Hang on. Do I have to reload this too? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a tube for the uh, for the decoy launchers. That's so cool. I didn't... They need to make that open or something. Ah. Okay, so we need to make decoy launchers. Now, is that something we can make through this? No, it's not something we can make through that. What about our fabricator, however? Let's just see. So it doesn't seem like I can actually make those. I was looking around, and I didn't really see anything about it. Let me just check my blueprints real quick and just see. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Let's just take a look at these fancy new icons and just see. Skimming down through, I might miss it. Hopefully I don't miss it, but I'm looking pretty closely, everyone. And I don't think it's a buildable thing right now. Hang on, what did I just see? Nothing there. All right, nothing fancy there. Still looking down through. Don't see it. Don't see it. What's this? Flares. Okay, it's not a flare that we need. Bleach? No, we might need to drink a bottle of that, but we'll do that at another time. Maybe after I'm done this video. Who knows? Uh, no. 
I don't see it anywhere. There's vortex torpedoes. So, okay, so you can, at least you can eventually make them, or maybe you can, and I've just overlooked them because uh, I can be pretty done with these things. I'm not afraid to admit that. But it looks like you can have five of them, and it's good that it's not like an infinite thing, so you actually have to make the materials for that. Now, if we go over right here to our fancy little cyclops, we have our decoy system, we have our sonar system, which I think comes stock anyways. Sounds different. Sub sounds different. Yeah, definitely sounds different. Let's just go into stealth mode. There we go. We're in silent mode. Okay, so definitely sounds a little bit different inside the sub. Let's sonar. Let's just see. This is the advanced sonar system doing its shenanigans. Should be like two pings, I think? Uh-oh. Second ping made me lag. Second ping made me lag. We got problems. Come on. Not cool. Not cool, Subnautica. You're supposed to be a lag-free game for me. Okay, three pings. Alright, so it's a little bit advanced. What about the shields? Anything different? Doesn't seem like anything is different with the shields. Uh, Alright, so it seems like they've changed the battery charge to right here. And uh, this has moved over here. No, I thought this was over here. Maybe it was always over there. I think it was always there, actually. I might just be being stupid. Okay, that's kind of cool. So now, if we catch on fire, you can see we have a fire suppression system that we can use. And well, what's that going to do? It will literally lock up the entire sub. Look at that. That is so cool. You can't open this anymore. It's locked too. Everything is just locked down. Let me just see if I can get into any of the other rooms. Yep, cannot do anything with that. That's locked down too. It closes all the doors, so there is a reason! I think I said this when we hit the fire update, that there would be a reason why these doors could close. Maybe you could starve out the flames and stuff, and well that's what I think it is here. You see this? You have the little vent. And you can see the fire icon. I would imagine that it just sucks out all the oxygen in the sub and it burns out the fire that way. It's, it literally just suffocates the fire, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they added something that closes all the doors like that. It gives these doors a reason now to exist rather than just be a nuisance running around your sub. And if you want to do the whole, you know, oh, I'm realistically inside a sub. Well, you know, you can't really do that anymore. Well, I guess you could do it technically, but... You get the idea. You know, it has a purpose now. They have a purpose, and they actually lock down too, which is pretty cool. Maybe they'll make animations too for this, like, little bulkhead or something to, like, lock in with this side here too. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool, but that's that's the updates anyways. If I have missed anything, let me know, guys, in the comment section of the video. Leave a like if you do enjoy Subnautica, and, uh, well, I want to go down to the disease research facility now, and I'm also going to check out the prison. I don't know if there's anything there yet. But we do see secret rooms hop up every single time I'm down there, and uh, we get to speculate on what they might be and stuff like that. But there is something down there, and it despawns. I don't know if it's because the client is not a development client or what it is, but something is it just appears and then disappears, and we see it down there. So I want to see if we can see that again or if there's any changes to the prison. Let's go to the diseased research facility and just look at this new sea dragon egg. Guys, I just wanna- I wanna take a second right now, and uh, see if I can fire radiation detected. Nope, don't wanna deal with radiation because radioactive stuff makes our buttholes tingle. Let's just turn the shit around over here, and get away from all of that nasty shiz. So, I wanted to see something actually with this because I noticed the sounds are different. As you can hear. You should be able to hear. If you can't hear now, well then you're probably deaf, in which case I should probably have subtitles. But you can hear it sounds a little bit different, at least to me. Now if I do this, has a different sound again. Sounds kind of cool. Making more noise. Now if I do emergency speed, that is cool. Even though I hit that rock down there, this is pretty cool sounding. Now it sounds like it's going faster than it actually is. This thing's like a Honda Civic basically. Sounds really mean, but... Sounds mean and loud. Well, it sounds loud. I mean, Honda Civics don't even sound mean, but... Sounds really loud at times, if you put a weird muffler on it, and well, otherwise it doesn't really do much <laughs> for speed. You guys get the idea. And this guy obviously sounds loud as hell, but I don't really feel like I'm moving that fast. Where is my camera? Do I have my camera? Right here! We have an idea now of how fast we're going. Let me just go to the top view. Okay, so it's spewing out a lot of bubbles. A lot of nasty stuff going on. Okay, all right, let's get out of that real quick. We're good. We have no fires. I want to get a Reaper Leviathan in here, and I want it to catch us on fire. Oh, God. Oh, God. I made a mistake. It's okay. 
Because we're still on this guy. Oh my god, we're doing a wheelie. Doing a wheelie. Hell yeah. Look at us go. Uh, where, where's our camera? Let's just take a look at this. Oh yeah. Oh god, we have damage. You can actually see that too in the camera. <laughs> look at this. We're straight up just doing a wheelie. Let's go back down in the ocean though because I feel like we shouldn't be... There we go. I feel like we shouldn't be driving like that. It's not very good. We're going to get our licenses suspended. So, sea dragons are a bad idea to spawn in when you're like that. There we go. Oh, God. That's creepy as shit. Those guys look massive when they're against that. So, I, I spawned in a bunch of these guys anyways. Because I know for a fact they'll attack me. And you can see... Wait, where, where are they on the radar? They're not coming up. Oh, God. Why do you look so freaking big against the window? That is... That is... All integrity low. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, I don't- Oh shit, what the hell? That's- that's gotta be a bug. That's got- Why does that thing look so freaking massive? Those guys aren't supposed to look that big. That's scary. I'm actually scared to go out there because, like, I don't want to see them. Just giant freaking monsters. Okay, let's go out there and see, because, like, that's weird. Why are they so big? Oh, this might be a bad idea. Are you really that big? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're inside the sub? <laughs> what? Why are- Why couldn't I see them inside the sub, though? What the hell? Why couldn't I- <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> we got some weird shenanigans going on. Is that why they look so big on the thing? Because they're coming up as- Oh. Oh, okay, we have a fire anyways. That looks so freaky. Dude, that looks so freaky. What if I- Can I stab them? I can stab them, but we have a fire. Let's go ahead, put this fire out. You got two fires. You suffocate that fire. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much how that works. Alright, so, now that I've got that figured out, I, that's freaking weird. That is so weird. That's like not even healthy in the slightest. Let's go to the disease research facility. Alright, Debbie, you're done. You're done trying to... Do your shenanigans. So we have the sea dragon egg right here. Now this is the true model from what I understand. It looks a tiny bit dark right now. Just trying to get a better look at this thing. It looks a little bit dark. Maybe I can... Can I put any lights down here at all? Because I don't think I'll be able to. Oh wait. May, oh I can put lights down here. But the thing is I can't power them I don't think. Yeah, let me just... Let me just... You come here. Alright now let's just turn you to face it. Let's get a better look at this thing. Because I do see that it's on by default. And you right there. There we go. Alright, now we can really see this thing with these floodlights. I'm going to put down a couple more guys. Bear with me. Because I really want to see this thing. This is something that I need to make clear. Alright, so this is the sea dragon egg. Now, the egg that we had seen here a couple months ago was a crab squid egg. And I have a screenshot to show you guys in a minute that will show you what I mean by that. But this is the actual sea dragon egg. Now, this thing could be fossilized. It is over a thousand years old or some shit like that. It's a very old egg, so I don't imagine it'll ever be able to hatch. And um, I'm also saying that because I read on the... The wiki that, well, it will never be able to hatch. It's just not, it, it just won't be able to. It's either dead or some weird shenanigans are going on. Now, don't confuse this with the Sea Emperor leg that, egg, leg, wow. The Sea Emperor eggs that are still alive because those, while you can't hatch them, they're going to be alive inside the primary containment facility, which is where I'm going to go next and see if there's any updates to that. I'll also show you a picture of the sea emperor eggs so i have a screenshot up now and it is of the sea emperor and its eggs now these eggs will be very much alive and they will not be hatchable because the precursor technology is being used in the precursors primary research facility freaking prison shit where the sea emperor is housed they're kept alive there but the reason why they can't hatch is because the temperatures and stuff are optimized for the actual sea emperor adults not the juveniles so the juveniles cannot do anything from what I understand right now. Maybe hatching will be a thing in the future, but for now, all we have is that they will not be able to hatch. Now, why am I making such a spectacle of the sea dragon egg right here? The reason why I'm doing that is because inside, inside this spot before, 
there was a different egg that I thought was the sea dragon egg, and it turns out it was not. It was a crab squid egg, and that egg is right here. So it was a cool looking egg, and we all thought like, oh my god, this is so cool. It's, it's the sea dragon egg, you know, like, holy shit. But no, it's not the sea dragon egg. I want to make that clear now to everyone so you guys can see the real deal is quite literally right here in front of us right now. So that is the sea dragon egg. I am going to move on to the prison. And then from there, we will look at a multiplayer feature that will be coming in the future for the end of the game. And I'll give you the information I have on that, guys. Here we are inside the primary containment facility. Let me just free cam. And guys, I just want to give you a heads up now. A huge thank you to everyone that's been giving, the, giving me the information. You guys have been teaching me a lot about Subnautica. And I genuinely wouldn't know half the stuff that I know about this game now. If it wasn't for you guys leaving comments. So thank you so much for giving me that information. I'm watching closely. I'm watching closely. Watching closely. Oh, something appeared. Two buildings appeared. Haha, <laughs> same two we saw on the last episode too. Ah, well I didn't see it actually. It was too fast, but... You get the idea. Now moving down here. There is nothing new here. In the prison, it seems. Wait. We got a little change of the terrain right there, I think. Just turn the fog off real quick, so I can see around. Pro tip, this is how I took my last screenshot inside this area right here with the fog off. Otherwise, nothing seems different. Looking around the building, there's nothing see no, nothing's new at all. It seems like they stopped the double lap though. There's no more like twin building shit going on there, which is good. Uh, seems like they changed this stuff a little bit. Otherwise, though, there is nothing too special going on. There is the sea dragon swimming around in all his glory. Doing whatever sea dragons do on the weekends, or weekdays, actually, because today is uh, Wednesday. Totally didn't just check my phone. So that's the thing. All right, so let me free cam out. Good enough. I'm going to go biome safe. We're back home, and now I'm going to speak to you guys about a multiplayer feature. So this is the time capsule, and from what I understand, this time capsule will be your way to communicate with other players and show, share your experiences, basically, by leaving notes that they can find in other life pods. Now, how it's generally going to work, not entirely sure, but I do know what will be a multiplayer feature because, well, they want to put this into other players' games. When you beat Subnautica, from what I understand, when you beat the game, you'll be able to have this time capsule. You either make it or it'll already be there at the ending of it. And I assume that rocket obviously has something to do with it too. But it'll be there or you have to make it. One of the two. And I'm sure it'll be optional to use it. I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't think that they just make it, you know, like you have to make this for other people to read. Um, but you can do your own little thing, save your game, all of that stuff onto this time capsule, give information and all that stuff. Put it in there and then as the game ends you will launch it off into the planet I assume or with something else. I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work again. Speculation. You guys let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, give me your speculation on this too. That's the idea behind it. And then other players in their save games and in their worlds, as they explore, they can find these time capsules, like, littered through the life pods and stuff like that. Maybe they'll even see them fall from the sky or something. And, like, you know, they'll have to go to it. And, like, there'll be beacons and stuff. Like, that would be really cool if that was a thing. Don't know if it'll be a thing or not, because speculation again. But... If it is a thing, I mean, it would be... It would be just... Wow. Like, multiplayer... I think they're trying, I, I, I honestly think this is them testing the, water, the waters for multiplayer because, well, one, it's making me so excited that <laughs> I can't talk, I can't do sentences, but two, I think they want to see how badly this community wants to see multiplayer in their game. I, for one, really, really, really want to see multiplayer in this game. When I found out multiplayer was not going to be a thing, it was when I stopped playing the game because I wanted that. That was like the primary thing. Just play with your friends, explore the ocean, just do different things. Like I thought it was the coolest idea ever. I thought it was just so cool. And that's why I stopped covering the game because I was like, well, shit, they're not doing the main feature that I wanted. But now that I got, I'm hearing this stuff again, making me super excited and I love the game anyways. So like, I think it's a win-win. But you guys let me know your thoughts. I am ending the video right here because, well, I have no new information for you. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below because I'm sure I got something wrong in this video. As always, leave a like for more, and I will see you in the next video.